a hey, real quick shout out to our latest sub, Mr. Bidwell. Appreciate you grilling and chilling with the boys. Uh, if you're new here, he's me. I'm boy, and we're trying to hit 260 subs before UFC 260 in a few months. So grill that subscribe button if you're looking for locks and laughs. This is a middleweight meat slinger. We got Kelvin Gastelum taking on Hurricane Ian Heinish. Uh, hurricane season was over. Oh, I'm sorry. Hurricane season proved to not be over when T uh, when he TKO Gerald Mearshart last summer. Definitely not a hot girl summer for GM3, but Hurricane had lost two straight before that, despite starting his UFC tenure super hot. I feel like this is a huge one for Ian Heinish as he's getting the uh, former tough winner, Kelvin Gastelum, who has dropped three straight. We saw that most recent fight against the Joker. It was barely over a minute long, and he got caught in that weird heel hook and just didn't really seem mentally there, almost like he didn't want to just be in the cage. Just, just a disappointing outing for Kelvin, but Kelvin Gastelum, uh, you, you have to understand that it's possible you get that version of him on certain nights. So uh, before that, he lost to Darren Till, and you and I were at that fight at MSG, and even though I watched it live, I couldn't tell you one thing about that fight. There was just nothing memorable in that fight uh, for me for some reason. It gained zero traction in my memory. So even though I watched that fight, I, I know Darren Till apparently got the win, but um, despite watching it, I couldn't tell you anything about that fight. Um, but I do feel like this is a big, a big fight for both these guys. So do you think Hurricane picks up uh, his biggest win to date, or is Kelvin going to find a way to get back in the win call? Yeah, uh, you know, like you said, we were at that fight for Kelvin Gastelum uh, versus Darren Till at MSG, and you're right, I don't remember at all. I don't know if they, you know, if they played knick-knack paddywhack or if they fought, honestly. I don't even know if they threw a punch that fight, but somehow he lost, somehow Darren won, they kissed and made up, they moved on, but Kelvin's on a three-fight skid loss, you know, uh, and you have the Hurricane on a one-fight win streak, and he looked pretty good last fight, um... Kelvin has not been looking good at all, and it seems that uh, I believe the odds makers and Tapology think Hurricane season's over. I think they're thinking a little too soon because I think it's more of uh, the Gastelum season is over. I think he's going to get slept first or second round. I think he's on a four-fight skid. He is getting cut. He's going to one champion or bare knuckle, most likely. Um, he's kind of a bum, and uh, I think Kelvin's just done. Like, the display of his black belt jiu-jitsu and his ASU D1 wrestling was non-existent versus uh, um, the Joker, which the Joker's no joke, but like, I mean, to put on a performance versus Izzy and then just lack a luster ever since, it's just like, I don't know. He's just, I, I just don't see the hype anymore. I feel like he peaked at Izzy and he felt like he achieved something or he just lost the will to fight. Um, because if it was Izzy, Gas Izzy versus Gastelum, that Gastelum, I think he smokes uh, the Hurricane in one second, honestly, first round KO, but I just don't see the fire anymore. I don't see, you know, him coming in with some meat bombs. So I'm taking the hurricane. I think uh, the hurricane season is, is still going. Fascinating stuff. Me going in pretty hard. Some, some harsh words for Kelvin Gaslam there, but I understand the frustration because like you mentioned, that performance against Izzy, he, it was razor thin. He was right there from securing gold. And now we see Izzy, you know, just, just dominating everyone. So he was that close. You wonder if uh, it was too much of a moral victory, perhaps. That's kind of what it sounds like. And uh, it's going to be interesting because if he does lose this fight, that's four straight. And while I don't know if uh, a pathway to BKFC uh, and, and Knuckle Mania is necessarily in uh, Kelvin's future, uh, it might not be in the UFC if he does lose to Hurricane Heinrich. So uh, you mentioned the odds. It looks like Gaslam's about a minus 220 favorite. Um, Heinrich coming in as a pretty sizable dog. And if you look over at Tapology, 83% is going with Kelvin Gaslam. They, they think that Ian Heinrich is going to be that opponent that gets him back on track, gets him re-motivated again with uh, what should be uh, an available win, so to speak. Um, I'll be honest with you. I thought I liked Ian Heinrich's hype uh, in the beginning of his UFC tenure. But when I'm really looking at his wins, I'm just not that impressed because Cesar Fajeda, uh you know, he, he's Cesar Fajeda, and another win against Shoeface, who just got cut, and against Gerald Mearshart, uh, who had, you know, Gerald Mearshart the bed in those last few fights. So I just, I don't know if he's going to be the one that uh, can take out Kelvin. And for that reason, I got to side with the odds makers. I got to go with Tapology. Um, I'm going with Kelvin Gaslam. This is the one that gets him back, gets him back into uh, 
not contention, but just some sort of relevance in this middleweight division that is always stacked. So I think this is the one that gets him back on track. I think he's going to finish Ian Heinish. I think he's going to get a submission. I think it's going to get to the ground, and uh, he's going to find a way to uh, use some of that 10th planet jiu-jitsu. So uh, we'll see how it goes. How do you see Heinish getting this done over Kelvin, though? Um, I see KO first or second round on the feet. Um, but like you said, you know, he might get that submission on the hurricane. I just, you know, I didn't know he had submission from my la last, from the last fight that I watched. So I don't see that happening. I don't even know if he knows jujitsu. That's how hard I'm convinced of his ground game is non-existent. Uh, so I think Ian's going to smash him. Uh, yeah, I just don't see it anymore. We shall see. Kelvin definitely has a, a lot of doubters heading into this one, so we'll see if he can uh, get back on track. Meet's going with uh, Hurricane Heinish. Uh, your boy's going with Kelvin. Check out the other Brisbee boys.